solving problems, journal entries, post-closing trial balance, statement of cost of goods manufactured, income statement, and balance sheet. Problem. Lone Star Manufacturing Company, the post-closing trial balance of Lone Star Manufacturing Company at September 30 is reproduced as follows. Cash, 15,000. Accounts receivable, 18,000. Finished goods, 23,000. Work in progress, 4,000. Materials, 8,000. Buildings, 156,000. Accumulated depreciation buildings, 23,400. Factory equipment, 108,000. Accumulated depreciation factory equipment, 54,000. Office equipment, 12,000. Accumulated depreciation office equipment, 2,000. Accounts payable, 30,000. Capital stock, 175,000. Retained earnings, 61,600. Total debits, 346,000. Total credits, 346,000. During the month of October, the following transactions took place. A. Raw materials at cost 50,000 and general factory supplies costing 8,000 were purchased on account. Materials and supplies are recorded in the materials account. B. Raw materials to be used in production costing 41,000 and miscellaneous factory supplies costing 5,500 were issued. Wages and salaries incurred and paid for the month were as follows. Factory wages including 2,500 indirect labor, 34,000 and selling and administrative expenses, 5,000. Ignore payroll with withholdings and deductions. Distributed the payroll in C. E. Depreciation was recorded for the month at an annual rate of 5% on the building and 20% on the factory equipment and office equipment. The sales and administrative staff uses approximately one-fifth of the following, one-fifth of the building for its offices. F. During the month, various other expenses totaling to 5,200 were incurred on account. The company has determined that one-fourth of this amount is allocated to the office function. G. Total factory overhead costs were transferred to work in progress. During the month, goods with a total cost of 79,000 were completed and transferred to the finished goods storeroom. Sales for the month totaled 128,000 for goods costing 87,000 to manufacture. Assume that all the sales were made on account. Accounts receivable in the amount of 105,000 were collected. Accounts payable totaling 55,000 were paid. Required. Prepare general entries to record the transactions. 2. Prepare post-closing trial balance, a statement of cost of goods manufactured, an income statement, and a balance sheet. In the books of Lone Star Manufacturing Company, General Ledger. Transaction A. Raw materials at a cost of 50,000 and general factory supplies costing 8,000 were purchased on account. Materials and supplies were recorded in the materials account. General Entry. Materials debit 58,000. Accounts payable credit 58,000. Being the materials and supplies bought on credit. B. Raw materials to be used in production costing 41,000 and miscellaneous factory supplies costing 5,500 were issued. Materials production 41,000. Factory supplies production 5,500. Materials credit 46,500. Being the materials and supplies used in production. C. Wages and salaries incurred and paid for the month were as follows. Factory wages including 2,500 indirect labor 34,000 and selling and distribute selling and administrative salaries 5,000. Ignore payroll withholdings and deductions. Wages and salaries factory debit 31,500. Wages and salaries indirect 2,500 debit. Salaries selling and administrative 5,000 debit. Total accounts payable 39,000 being the wages and salaries are payable. We distributed the payroll in C. Accounts payable debit 39,000, cash credit 39,000 being the wages and salaries paid. E. Depreciation was recorded for the month at an annual rate of 5% on the building and 20% on the factory equipment and office equipment. The sales and administrative staff uses approximately one-fifth of the building for its offices. Depreciation and building data are 6250, depreciation and admin, sales and admin 1560, depreciation and factory equipment factory 17,280, depreciation and factory equipment sales and admin 4,320, depreciation office equipment factory 1,920, depreciation office equipment sales and admin 480, accumulated 
depreciation on buildings 7800 credit accumulated depreciation of factory equipment 22600 credit accumulated depreciation of office equipment 2400 credit being depreciation expense on building and equipment recorded f during the month various other expenses totaling 5200 were incurred on account the company has determined that one fourth of this amount is allocated to office function office expenses factory 3900 debit office expenses 1300 debit accounts payable 5200 credit being the office expenses incurred g total factory overhead costs were transferred to work in process work in process debit 60840 wages and salaries factory 31500 depreciation buildings factory 6240 depreciation on factory equipment factory 17280 depreciation office equipment 1920 office expenses factory 3900 being the factory overhead costs were transferred to work in progress h during the month goods with a total cost of 79000 were completed and transferred to the finished goods showroom finished goods trading account debit 79000 finished goods production credit 79000 when the cost of finished goods transferred to showroom i sales for the month total 128000 for goods costing 87000 to manufacture assume that all the sales were made on account accounts receivable debt 128000 to sales 128000 credit being the sales made on account j accounts receivable in the amount of 105000 were collected cash account debit 105000 accounts receivable credit 105000 being the amount collected from customers k accounts payable totaling 55000 were paid accounts payable debit 55000 cash credit 55000 being the amount being the amount paid to the suppliers to transfer closing work in progress material closing stock asset debit 11500 material closing stock production credit 11500 being the closing stock of materials recorded to transfer work in progress work in progress asset account debit 40340 work in progress trading account credit 40340 being the closing work in progress recorded to record closing finished goods finished goods asset account debit 17000 to finished goods trading 17000 being the closing finished goods are recorded Let us prepare the post closing trail balance after updating pre closing trail balance which is the existing entries pre closing trail balance as on 30 September 2011 debit credit materials opening stock 8000 work in progress beginning balance 4000 finished goods beginning balance 25000 cash debit 15000 accounts receivable debit 18000 buildings debit 156000 factory equipment debit 108000 Office equipment debit twelve thousand. Total debits three hundred forty-six thousand. Accumulated depreciation buildings credit twenty-three four hundred. Accumulated depreciation on factory equipment fifty-four thousand credit. Accumulated depreciation office equipment two thousand credit. Accounts payable thirty thousand credit. Capital stock one hundred and seventy-five thousand credit. Retained earnings sixty-one thousand six hundred. Total credits three hundred forty-six thousand. adjusting transactions during the month of october cash debit 105000 credit 94000 accounts receivable debit 128000 credit 105000 accumulation depreciation on buildings credit 7800 accumulated in factory equipment credit 21600 accumulated depreciation office equipment credit 2400 accounts payable debit 94000 credit 102200 materials balance stock 58000 debit 46500 credit work in progress 60840 debit factory supplies production 5500 materials production 41000 debit work in process wages and salaries 31500 debit and credit transfer to work in process building depreciation 6240 transfer to work in process Work in process depreciation on factory equipment 17 to age transfer to work in process work in process depreciation office equipment 1920 transfer to work in process office expenses factory 3900 transfer to work in process finished goods 
79,000 debit, 79,000 credit, sales credit 128,000, wages and salaries indirect 2,500 debit, salaries selling and admin 5,000 debit, depreciation on building sales and admin 1,560, depreciation factory equipment sales and admin 4,320, depreciation office equipment sales and admin 480, office expense office Expenses 1300. Material closing stock asset 11500. Material closing stock manufacturing 11500 credit. Work in process asset 4340. Work in process trading 4340. Finished goods asset 17000. Finished goods trading credit 17000. Total debit adjustments 716,180. Total credit adjustments 716,180. Now, post closing trail balance. Material opening stock 8000 debit. Work in progress beginning balance 4000 debit. Finished goods beginning balance 28000 debit. 25000 debit. Cash debit 26000. Accounts receivable debit 41000. Buildings debit 156000. Accumulated depreciation buildings credit 31200. Factory equipment debit 108000. Factory equipment credit accumulated depreciation 70,600. Office equipment debit 12,000. Accumulated depreciation office equipment credit 4,400. Accounts payable credit 38,200. Capital stock 175,000. Retained earnings 61,600. Credit material stock material balance stock 11,500. Debit. Work in process 6840 debit. Materials production 41,000. Factory supplies production 5,500. Finished goods 79,000 debit, 79,000 credit. Sales 128,000 credit. Wages and salaries indirect 2,500 debit. Sales salary selling and admin 5,000 debit. Depreciation on buildings sales and admin. 1560 debit. Depreciation factory equipment sales and admin 4320 debit. Depreciation equipment sales and admin 480 debit. Office expenses 1300 debit. Material closing stock asset 11500 debit. Material closing stock manufacturing credit 11500. Work in process asset 40340. Work in process trading 40340 credit. Finished goods asset 17,000 debit. Finished goods trading 17,000 credit. Total debits 661,840. Total credits 661,840. Statement of cost of goods manufactured. Account titles amount. Material opening stock 8,000. Material balance stock 11,500. Work in process beginning balance 4,000. Material production 41,000. Factory supplies production 5,500. Work in process 60,840 less materials closing stock 11,500 less work in process closing 40,340 total cost of goods manufactured 79,000 income statement material opening stock 8,000 materials balance stock 11,500 working process beginning balance 4,000 material production 41,000 Factory supplies production 5500, working process 60,840, total 138,40 on the credit side, finished goods transfer to showroom 79,000, material closing stock 11,500, working process 40,340, total credits 138,40 on the debit side, finished goods beginning balance 25,000, finished goods from production 79,000 and the credit side sales 128,000 finished goods closing stock 17,000 total 145,000 there's a gross profit of 41,000 transfer to profit and loss account gross profit and the credit side 41,000 and the debit side wages and salaries indirect 2,500 salary selling and admin 5,000 depreciation on building sales and admin 1,560 Depreciation of factory equipment sales and admin 4320. Depreciation of office equipment sales, sales and admin 480. Office expenses 1300. Profit transferred to 
retained earnings 23,840. Balance sheet, liabilities, amount, assets, amount. On the asset side, cash 26,000. Material closing stock 11,500. Working process closing 40,340. Finished goods closing 17,000. Accounts receivable 41,000. Buildings 156,000. Accumulated depreciation building 31,200. 124,800 is the net cost of buildings. Factory equipment 108,000. Less accumulated depreciation factory equipment 75,600. Net factory equipment 32,400. Office equipment 12,000. Accumulated depreciation office equipment 4,400. 7,600 is the net cost of office equipment. Total assets 300,640. On the liability side, accounts payable 38,200. Capital stock 175,000. Retained earnings 61,600. Add profit 25,840. Total retained earnings 87,440. Total liabilities including capital stock and retained earnings 300,640. Recap Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Accounts Lobby for various solved problems and lectures on accountancy.